I moved to New York to build myself up and become a tattoo artist there. My mission is not going to stop. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. We do not quit at the end of the day. I changed my life to come and be a part of Black Ink. But I'm not going to give up on my dreams. So how you doing, Donna? I'm excited about the renovation. Donna's the new apprentice in Black Ink. She's a pretty good apprentice, even though she got weird things about her. But I think all of us got weird about her, so it. Scott, how is Donna doing? Um, working-wise. What else would I be talking about? She everything in here. What? She everybody in here. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> You're I overheard rumors about the girl. She everything under the sun. <laughs> from the way she looks, from those eyes that she gives you. It's obvious to me that she's a little freak. She a little freak. Donna, go set my room up for me. All right. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and I came to New York to apprentice at Black Ink because I respect Caesar as a tattoo artist. I open the shop, clean up, sweep, get the artist rooms ready. Apprenticing is you follow somebody around who you feel the dope tattoo artist, you respect their work, and you learn from them. My coworkers like to start rumors, but as an attractive woman, it's like something that I just deal with. You know, I'm the new girl, so I take it. It's cool. I'm trying to find some nice, unusual flowers to draw. Why are you drawing it? Um, you know, I'm trying to get nice so I can start tattooing. And I got this piece that I'm um, putting together. Right now, I feel like this position in Black Ink is like hindering me from moving forward as a tattoo artist. I can do some names, I can do some little symbols, some zodiac signs. I'm ready to become an official artist at Black Ink, but I don't get any respect for the work I've done. Damn. You gotta understand, most of the time when people start freehanding, it's because they've been doing that for years. You know, I come from the grip. We, we hand stencil and we draw everything. You shouldn't be doing it like that. You should be going and get the real flower and trace it. Cause that's the only way you're gonna get hand memory. Mm. You're never gonna draw better than nature. I think I can draw roses um, from memory now. I try to give Donna advice and she just won't listen. She ain't Dutch it. So you gotta learn how to trace, how to draw all that good shit. Nah, I seen your roses. I think you should trace them. That's wrong. What's wrong? You know there's different the type point. of drawings for mm -hmm. tattoos and like regular drawing, right? Yeah. You know that, right? Okay. You think you got that mastered down? Well, you've been here a while. Like eight months. Yeah, and you should be tattooing by now. You should okay. be, which means you got left back a couple grades, mm -hmm. right? How do you feel about this, Donna? Wait, Caesar, that's bull If you wanted me to tattoo in the shop, I could have been doing that. You really want to do this? I'm so serious right now. Who the is she talking to right now? Does she understand I'm her boss? She is bugging all the way out right now. You learning here. And I've been I did you a favor. favor. Hold on. Though, like, what you done for me? Been in your shop from 11 11, uh, seven you're, days you're, a week. You're for trying six to months. learn, Donna. It's your No, career. I wasn't doing no learning. I was no. managing your shop. You, I, you sound hey, ignorant as man. Caesar, you're supposed to make me mad. Just make you home. mad? What you gonna do? Storm out? Yo, yeah, I'm leaving. Then leave. This is crazy. Come on. Don't call me no bitch, Caesar. Donna, Don't go. Hey, what you gonna do to me? So Don't stop this. That. Don't call me no bitch. Caesar, yeah. hope you feel good about yourself. Look, hope you I feel, feel like a grown ass man. How old are you? What the f was that? All right. All right. Get the f out of here. You're fired. Where did you get that arm from? Baby dog. Oh, okay. Yeah. I hope that's the only thing you're doing with that big ass. Um, it's tattooed with it. <laughs> what else I'm gonna be doing with it? I don't know, I'll be at work. Fist in the ass. <laughs> I didn't even know it was gonna be like <laughs> how it was. Like, <laughs> made a big deal though when I was there <laughs> about the tattoo this. <laughs> and that's why I'm doing it here now. Mm, they don't want you to go nowhere. That's all that is. Right. You gotta step your up and do your thing. 
I moved to New York to build myself up and become a tattoo artist there. My mission is not going to stop. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. We do not quit at the end of the day. I changed my life to come and be a part of Black Ink. And I'm not going to give up on my dreams. I bet they'll be begging me to work there again. What's up with them, Donna? Tattooing you. What's up? She She's coming, coming today. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First, you gotta get approval to oh, tattoo yeah. him. This is Donna's last chance to prove herself worthy to be at Black Ink. Point blank, period. Yeah, I'm so little faith. Have faith in the bitch. Wait, hold on. Let Donna do a tattoo on you. What? <laughs> <laughs> he already has tattoos on him. I don't have none on him. Where's All the faith? Where's nice. the faith? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Hey, everybody. I've had some time to work on my sketch, and I'm a little nervous. I don't know what I'm going to get with seasoned Duchess. They can be assholes, or they can be brutally honest and really trying to help me. I've been practicing my writing. And, uh, you know, I feel pretty confident, and I just want to freehand it on you, and we can go from there. How you feel about that? Pretty good. Uh-huh. See, I was worried you was going to let me down. You made me look good, though. Appreciate that. She's been practicing. That's what happens. She's been practicing. That's what the happens. So go take your customer and go find out where you want to put it. It's important that Donna succeeds because she's my mother apprentice. My stamp got to go on it. It's got to have the Duchess approval. All right. The only thing is, you see them other tattoos? Mm hmm So this is what you're going to do. When you get here, mm -hmm. you're going to stop, and you're going to start it back over mm -hmm. here. Same thing over here. You're going to stop and start it back right here. All right. All right. You ready to go? All right. <laughs> Tyler, you ready? Yeah, fat. All right. After I lost the baby, I was, like, thinking about what our baby would look like and, like, you know what I'm saying, what type of talent it would have. I'm not alone. I got God, and I have Maxwell, and my art. I will take this time to focus on my artistry. I have a lot riding on this. This is exactly what I came to Black Ink to do. I'm tattooing. I feel good about this. Done? <laughs> How do you feel, Tyler? What you think about it? I'm gonna tell you what I think. This is like the the make or break moment, so I'm expecting the worst from Caesar. To with us, you're gonna have to get better. But you taking the initiatives. I'm not even gonna lie, Donna. You kind of impressed me. For you to go through a critique with us <laughs> after everything, we kind of did give you a, a hard time. What? It felt good. It did. I'm gonna go home with a smile on my face. You gotta learn. In this business, ain't no one gonna give you anything. You gotta take what you want. Sergeant Duchess, she's all yours. <laughs> What all do you need? I need a clip cord. I need a foot pedal. Damn. I need a power supply. Damn. And paper You charge. basically need a <laughs> whole need. setup, right? Today is Donna's first day at Art to Ink, and I'm actually kind of excited to mentor her. You doing a tattoo today? Hell yeah. Guess who was on? Who? I need twin. You got a twin? Yeah, stupid. I know I'm playing with fire just a little bit since my girlfriend Alexis told me not to hang out with Donna because me and Alexis had a little problems in the past and me having girls or whatever. So now she can't really trust me because that's all she knows is the old guy. I'm gonna need some advice, you know, maybe before I start. That would be cool. First things first, slow down. Huh? Like, even when you... Now, 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 now. No, look, I ain't asking for no help drawing this No, I'm just saying, like, when I draw a tattoo, I'm thinking about me actually putting it on a person. So that's why I say take your time. 
Naeem is definitely a dope mentor, and it feels good to have somebody around me that I can, like, look up to and learn from. Sissy! Hey, what's going on? Sissy, Naeem, Naeem, Sissy. So today, I'm doing my first tattoo at Art to Ink on my twin sister, Brittany, who came in from Cleveland for a couple days. I don't get to see her that often, and I miss her so much, so I'm super excited about today. So you drawing it now? I'm trying to. You sure she's up for this for you? You got you think you, she were in good of hands course. with her? Of course. I let my sister practice on me. My twin sister and I are very close, but total opposites. I've always been rebellious and crazy, and she's always been more laid back. She's a nurse, I'm a tattoo artist, I'm living this crazy New York life, and she's at home with her two boys. So I'm gonna let you get to your work. All right. <laughs> so how is it working at the shop, sis? It's better than black ink. And it's just different. Like, I actually respect my as far as, like, artistry goes. That's why I think this tattoo is kind of cool that you get into. It's like a balance. It's like everything that's happening right now. The tattoo of my sister is a yin and yang, and I think it's so dope because it symbolizes, like, a lot of things. It symbolizes me and her. It symbolizes my growth from apprentice to piercer and tattoo artist. Just new beginnings. It's just everything. You ready to get the tattoo started, sis? As ready as I ever will be. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Even I said I was gonna move to New York to better myself as a tattoo artist, like no other reason. And that got stifled for two years. Being an art thing, it's just nice to be around people that believe in me. It definitely like puts my vision back of like why I moved here in the first place. I'm so determined and fired up right now to continue growing to better myself as a person and a tattoo artist. I am going to work my ass off and keep reaching for the top. I feel like nothing can stop me right now. What am I think that about does it, sis? Yay, finally. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I do love it. Love it, I love it, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Oh, thank, you. thank you. I know you just gotta stay strong and keep getting better. You gonna make me cry. Huh? <laughs> so you promise you love the tattoo? I promise I love the tattoo. Okay, good. as much as I love you. <laughs> I love you so much. Incognito. Am I incognito? Yes, bitch. Hello. How you doing? I is got, the coast Okay, here? so Young Bay is in there. Okay. Walter's in the back. He's in the boom boom room. Yes, there's a boom boom room. <gasps> so he's going to be busy. OK. Your name is not Donna. OK. Ready? Your yeah. name is Bianca. So, okay. OK, boom. Let's get out of here. Donna is in disguise because she's not welcomed here at Black Ink. I don't want anybody running their mouth back to Caesar and f***ing out my plans, so I have to change her name, everything. How you doing? Hi. My name's Bianca. Nice to meet oh, you. Bianca. You're so cute and little. If there's one thing Ted knows how to do, it's hire all the fly ass ladies. Bay is so cute. Bianca be tattooing today. Uh -huh. She has a client coming That's in, great. actually. She's getting ready to come here and make this money. Bianca? I didn't know we were getting a new artist. Bianca, where you're from? Oh, um, from I feel like I'm a little bit of everywhere. I've been here, I've been there. I can tell you I was born, but that's really not important. So, you know what I'm saying? Where you from? Korea, yeah. Okay. You foreign. I like it. You're adorable. Look at your legs. Bianca, look at your back. No, but nothing. Oh. That ass gives me life. Give me some. Oh, how did you get that ass? I want to ass like you. You got to have the squats, bitch. Show me the format of a sport. What do you mean? You don't have to do that. Bianca, go 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 Bianca, That ass is fat. Oh, 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 God. Yeah. Let up, bro. What are you doing? We over there looking at Bianca do these squats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bianca, this is what. <laughs> Bianca, really? Scott, what the f you doing bringing Donna in the shop for real? Like, trust me. 
I know that ass from anywhere, and that's not no Bianca. What the f is Donna doing here? First of all, really? Bianca needed some really? little work. So you gave her a whole new identity? Donna's practically public enemy number one here. Like, seasoned Dutch, you already know they hate her. They find out she was in the shop. Somebody's about to get killed. Teddy left us. Teddy walked out. And Donna got money to bring in the shop. Uh, Walter's so annoying. Like, don't be a pussy. What seasoned Dutch don't know won't hurt them. I don't know what's going on, Sky. All I know is that this is crazy. Man, I'm out of here. F this. I don't want no parts of this. Like, seriously, I don't. Somebody's going to go down for this, and it's not going to be me. Hello. Hey, welcome to Black King. You here for Bianca. Yes, sir. Right? Hey, look at Hello. that. Hello, how you doing? Breaking the spice. I am so excited to be back in Black Ink doing my first tattoo in over a year. It's kind of weird that I have to be Bianca, but at least I'm back working. So, what you getting today? I'm getting a cupcake because it reminds me of my kids, and they bring me joy to my life. That's funny because tattooing always makes me happy as well, and you are bringing me that joy right now, so let's get started. Last year was difficult. It's like I really had to start over. I married Maxwell for the wrong reasons. He misled me into believing that we had a real relationship. Papa always said never fold my cards. Focus my mind and don't take my eyes off the prize. Cause life is a pick up and it's nothing but the power of the mind. Believe she And when I started to figure all of that out, it put me in a crazy negative space and made me feel like I didn't know what I wanted. But now I'm done with that situation. Now it's time for me to do what I came here to do and tattoo and be this awesome ass woman. I just want everybody to see that Donna can stand on her own two feet. I can do anything. Like, I really can do anything. I'm just growing and I'm trying to be a better woman. And I'm trying to realize, you know what I'm saying, what's really good for me and what's not. All right, my love. So you ready? Yeah. I love it. Great job. Thank you. I love it, too. Hey, Evelyn. Hey. All right. This is Evelyn, guys. Evelyn, hi. I'm doing a piano design for Evelyn because she's a musician, and I need to impress her so she can become a regular customer. So this is the piece. The words are. When words fail, music speaks. I really like that quote. Because when you just can't get something out, like being able to articulate that through music is like real cool. I can relate to this tattoo 100% because my words often get misconstrued. And that's why I like tattooing, because I can express myself through my art. So um, if you're ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh -oh. How's it going back there? Can I see? Can I say something that's driving me nuts? Can I just, can I just sketch a line real fast? Is Melody bugging the f out right now? You do not come in and start trying to f alter my design on the client. So it needs to be a little more like that. And these two lines should be parallel. Look, I'm trying to be the manager here at 113th, so I need to make sure everything is covered all across the board. Donna's practically still an apprentice, so she can take all the help that she can get. I can't be having whack-ass tattoos coming out of this shop. You can do all right, get out. Now you uh, all right. get out. It hurts that Melody would come in and be rude as to me and my client and crush my little spirit. Sorry about that. But don't worry, this is going to be a fly-ass tattoo. I was looking for stability. I'm so glad I got you here with me. When I came to work at Black Ink over two years ago, I was so excited. All I wanted to do was kill it as a tattoo artist. So it's frustrating that even after all this time, I'm still the lowest on the totem pole. It seems like everyone's promoted while I'm disrespected. It's starting to feel like the only person that believes in me is me. But I'm not gonna stop fighting because I know that I have talent and I know that I'm worth something. All right, I am excited for you to see it. 
It looks damn good, and I didn't need no help to make it happen. I love it. Yay, I love it too. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Hey. Hi. Hey, Ruthie. Today, my client wants me to cover up a scar on her leg, and I am really excited because not only is it challenging, but I get to help her move on with her life. So let me come around here so I can see the scar. How the hell did you get scars on your pretty ass ankles? I was traveling with my then boo, and he had the bright idea, let's jump on the trolley that drives you through the airport. Well, he makes it onto the trolley, and I don't so much. Like, I made oh, it to the floor. No. And you broke your ankle? Broke it. That's terrible. And how, how long ago did you end the relationship? Like a year and a half ago. It reminds me of that relationship that I no longer care about. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> I totally get that. What we're going to do is call it a blackout tattoo. Mm -hmm. So it's just going to be total black. But at the top, fade it into some wildflowers. Let's black it all out. And black out my past. Yes, let's do that. You take everything and leave me nothing. There's definitely relationships I wish I could get rid of, like the one with my ex-husband, Maxwell. I suffered years of emotional and physical abuse from this man. And I was at such a low point in my life, and I still married him while he was in jail. That's how up I was. When I finally got the courage to divorce Maxwell, I wanted to get rid of every trace of him. I pawned my wedding ring, I burned my wedding dress. Like, if I could erase his ass permanently, I would. I would black his ass out. I'm just glad was serving 15 more years in federal prison for drug trafficking. So, boy, bye. Mo is a fresh breath of air for me. Of course, there's always a side of me that's like, bitch, this is just too good to be true. But I feel really good about this relationship. He makes me very, very happy. <laughs> I think we done. Come on, let's go look at it. Oh my God, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Oh. God, it is not funny. I am humiliated that this fake ass news story aired on television to millions of people. I had a with this game. You know how I got there? That bitch is crazy and she's obsessed with me. She's a liar. Like, that is fake news. So, did you break the window? Yeah, I broke the window. <laughs> she tried to lock me out of my own place. So, yes, I broke my own window. <laughs> So this bitch lied about everything on Help Me a Howard except breaking the window to get into her own room. This story might sound strange coming from a normal person, but Zana's a <laughs> cuckoo bird. So is it over with? Yeah. I'm done with that bitch, and as far as I'm concerned, we've never seen each other again, unless it's to be her ass. I got a tattoo client to try to hustle up some money. I got to get the <laughs> into my own <laughs> so. She said, help me out. I think down the line. God bless. I can't hear y'all. <laughs> hey, How welcome you doing? to Black A. What's up? I got an appointment with Donna. You can go back there. Hey, how, how you doing? doing? Nice to see you. <laughs> Today, I'm tattooing a new client named Antoine, and all I know is that he wants roses, which are my specialty. And thank God I get to tattoo something I love, because I'm at the end of my rope with this whole roommate situation. Tell me about these roses that you're getting today. I was abused as a child. Mom used to like physically abuse me after like turning to alcohol and all that. So I see her as a black rose and I see me as the red rose growing through all of that. I'm glad you grew out of that. Absolutely. I'm excited about these roses. You ready? I'm ready. Over this past year, I've really tried to grow and mature and become this responsible adult. So it seems really unfair that somebody could just go on the news and assassinate my character and this is not even true. Like, why didn't this Howard person come and interview me and get my side of the story? It's been on my mind for a while. The most f***ed up part about all this is that I'm an artist and my reputation is what gets me work. Who knows how many potential clients have seen this and thought, oh, Donna f up, I'm not getting my work done by her. Like, my livelihood is on the line. I've never been treated so 
unfairly in my life. And there's literally nothing I can do except keep proving myself through my work and hope that this don't f*** up my life more than it already has. Come look at it. Check it in. Beautiful. This is artwork on my body, Donna. I'm more than loving. Thank you. Thank you. so happy to be back at work. It was really great to spend quality time with Mo, but a bitch need a check. Y'all are like really cute. We're happy you're OK. Aww. Hey. hey. So this is Hazel Lux. Hazel. Hi, guys. Donna got a client already? Didn't she just come back? Damn. She really on her So this is what I came up with. As you know, the hospital symbolizes protection and bringing strength. I love it. Why are you getting this tattoo? Well, it's been a hard year for me. My mom being diagnosed with cancer and me going through a breakup. I have had a lot of shit happen, too. You got to try to find a silver lining, like, as cliche as it is. Girl, I'm ready to get this tattoo. Let's do it. I can't believe what a whirlwind the past two weeks have been. After everything I've been through, I should be flat on my ass in a pool of tears. It's enough to make anybody not want to get out of bed again. And yes, I'll probably have scars on my stomach forever. I could choose to look at them every day and focus on the pain I just went through, but I don't want to focus on the negative anymore. I want to turn those scars into reminders that I'm strong and life is precious. Not just your average girl, I'm strong and powerful woman. So from now on, I'm all about positivity and motivation. And if I keep working my butt off with a smile on my face, I'll be the best artist in this shop. Watch out, world. I'm a strong and powerful woman. Oh my God, look at that. There's so much color. I love it. Who that? It's your mama. Do a spin symbol. See, we good. Uh-oh, don't tip over. <laughs> exactly. What you want to do? We could go, I don't know, this really good bar. We could have drinks in the village. Mm. We could go ride the ferry across the river. I don't know what river it is. We could get cookies at 3 in the morning. Dancing. Well, actually, I was thinking about getting a tattoo. Oh, mama, you want to get tattooed? I kind of want to keep the tradition of you doing my tattoos, especially since you're so good at it. Hmm. So, would you do to me do me the honors of doing my tattoo? Well, I love to do your tattoo. That's what's up. Cool. What you want to get? I know I want it to be a chess piece that symbolizes the love I have for my children and the love I have for God. All right, cool. Can't punk out, though. You better sit your ass still. I do my best. <laughs> yeah. One time. One time. I ain't never ran, never will. I ain't done yet. Are we having fun yet? Gotta keep my hand on the steel. I ain't gonna let a n I get a cough. <coughs> <coughs> Breathe with your stomach. If not, I can't do the tattoo. I'm ready. All right. One of the realest, speak my name out and feel it. Treat my style like the Europeans and still it. Cause they know that it's raw. My thoughts are pretty. <coughs> I'm, better still still. I'm good. What you call sick, I call a slight cough. And I don't want none of your germs. Go grab the lice. <coughs> Ma. If this is how you're gonna be breathing, like the whole time I do your tattoo, I cannot do your tattoo. I ain't done yet. Whew. All right, lady. After all of that, yo ass, we done. Wow, I really like it. It's Thank so you. nice. We yes. got Hunter, me, you, Brittany. Right, all the favorite colors, everybody's favorite color. You know, all the tattoos you, you've done, I like this one the best. I'm gonna show this off to everybody at home. I'm happy to be here. Love you. I love you too. Sarah, I'm back here setting up. 
Hello. Hey. Oh, I'm excited you're here. I needed a tattoo right now. So this is what we got going on. I love this. <laughs> what was the inspiration for the tattoo? Well, I've been through a lot recently, relationships, family-wise, and I really need something to like uplift me. I'm trying to get out of that. So I feel that. The cross with the flowers represents having faith and growth, because you know, I'm done with that. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's rock out. Throughout our relationship, Mo treated me like a princess. Like, he truly cared about me. He would cook and clean and keep me together and just have my back. Doing what I did with Alex, I screwed up and I was not thinking about Mo. Lost in the distance, recalling memories and foes. At this point, I just wish Mo would talk to me, to do something like yell, talk, do something. Like, this silence is killing me. no excuse for my behavior. Honestly, I wish that I could take it back. I feel stupid for making a mistake in the first place. But truth be told, I'm holding on to hope that Mo can forgive me, because I still love Mo. Well then, I'm done. And we can check it out as well. Oh my god, I love it. I really like how the roses look. They're so red. Dude, that look like a stamp. I love it. Thank you. I really hope this works. Things with me and Alex have kind of spiraled out of control, with him just constantly throwing passive-aggressive jabs at me on this trip. I feel like if Alex just gave me the opportunity to explain what happened, we could work this out. Oh, hey. Got strawberries, you got steak. Got some champagne. What you trying to do? I want you to stop being mad at me. It doesn't just work like that, Donna. You was trying to meet up with your ex. I don't want you meeting up with no period. I never saw Mo. He wanted to pick up his but he never showed up. I promise you. But I still don't understand. Why hide it if it's nothing to hide? I don't have nothing to hide from you. Like, the only reason I didn't immediately tell you is because you was going through the stuff with your dad. So I felt like it would be better for me just to tell you afterwards. In my mind, it was the right thing to do at the time, which in hindsight was wrong and stupid. I don't want you feeling like you can't trust me because I dead love you and I want to be with you. I promise you, it won't happen again. Are you sure you're not going to hide anything from me anymore, no matter what I'm going through? I promise, babe. I'm not going to do it again. I'll tell you everything anyway. You're my best friend. I love you. I love you. I know I messed up, but I love Alex way too much to lose him. And I really want to prove to Alex that he's different, and I'll always be loyal to him no matter what. All right, so look, check this out. What do I always cook you when you come to my house? T-boom stick. <laughs> so I was thinking we could get matching People That's fire. <laughs> right? I can't stay mad at Donna for long. What she did was wrong, but look, her intentions was coming from a good place, and I understand that now. We all make mistakes, and she's learned from it, and she's trying to make up for it. All right, so just sit down, get comfy. <sighs> Take your shoes off. I don't want to get ink on your socks. These past few days without Donna have really been f***ed up. Like, I seriously could feel the void. Missing my father's surgery was a huge deal. But people make mistakes, and everyone deserves a second chance. And I want to move forward and grow from this experience with her. Do you love it? Yeah, I do. I'm excited. First time me and Donna ever had dinner, she cooked me a T-bone steak. And from there on, I knew she was a keeper. That's kind of like our thing now. It might sound silly, 
But these Mats and T-Bone steaks show love, commitment, and that there's so much more. So exactly how many appointments do you have today? Not that many, just a couple. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just because Caesar's forcing me to boycott the shop doesn't mean I'm gonna stop my hustle. I've been renting a studio space with Tattoo in, and Alex hasn't seen it yet. How many are you tattooing today? That's the real question. <laughs> no, Let's have to ease crazy. it up on you, you know? Once he sees it, he just might join the Black Ink boycott with me. This is big. Hmm. All right, you can help me set up. I'm not supporting a boycott of Black Ink because I have a job to keep. I want Donna to talk to Caesar and work things out. But every time I try to tell her, she wants to bite my head off. So, Bay. <clears throat> yeah. Have you thought about, uh, you know, this talk with Cease that you're gonna have? What did you say? Have you thought about the talk you're gonna have with Cease? I don't know about no talk with Cease. Oh. Hmm. <sighs> you know, one day she was some I'm not about to be around that, but. I love how strong Will Donna is. But sometimes it f with her mental. She needs to look at the bigger picture and see how she factors in. This place seems pretty damn expensive. Okay, yes. I mean, it costs a couple dollars, but I'm making a couple dollars. Thank Are you really making a couple dollars? Yes. The outcome is income, so it's fine. If the income is not amounting to enough profit, then that income don't really mean much. Especially now we have a whole space at 113. I already don't know about all that. Come on, man. Black Ink? has been a part of your life for how long? Over five years? How much have you went through with C's in the shop? How much blood, sweat, and tears have you put into that shop? And you just getting up and walking away, you're giving them permission to erase you from the history of black ink. Halfway. Oh my gosh, no, it's definitely no, not. No, it, it's almost the but... same. And you just gonna walk away from it like that? Of course I wanna go back to 113th but only with the respect I deserve. And after what just happened, I'd rather just hold on to some of my dignity. You should just go talk to C's. Just think about it. I don't know. I don't know about all that. <clears throat> ah, client. Hey. hey. How you doing? This is Alex. Hi. Hi. Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. you. Just leaving. I didn't know I was. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good tattoo. Have a good night. So, let's talk about this tattoo you want. On the phone, you said you wanted to get like a flower, mandala. Yeah, I was thinking about doing a mandala, maybe in my left calf. In okay. The back, like right below. Okay, that's what I came up with. Oh, that's exactly what I was talking about. Look at the beauty rehang I like it a lot. Okay, girl, I'm happy you like it. What does this tattoo mean for you? When it comes down to flowers, it's a delicate situation. As a woman, we're delicate, but we're strong individuals, we sprout. If you're ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. When I first moved to New York five years ago, I didn't have I just knew I wanted to be a dope-ass tattoo artist. I left my family behind in Cleveland to come work at Black Ink for free. That says enough right there. I really wanted to learn from these artists, show that I really have what it takes to be among the best. Never know until you try. Ah, never know until you try. Ah, I just didn't see myself tattooing anywhere outside of black ink. When I gave Steve that ultimatum in the back of my mind, it was like me daring him to prove me wrong. I would have gladly been wrong in that situation because it would have showed me that I was a valued employee. Never know until you try. Ah, never know until you try. At the end of the day, I busted my ass to become the artist I am today, and I busted my ass for Black Ink. And maybe I shouldn't just walk away. We're done. We're done. <laughs> Check it out. Oh my god. Thanks, <laughs> so cool. I put on some shoes. I know, right? Mm -hmm. Thanks so well, much. Thank you, my love. Thank I you. Appreciate you. Hey. hey. Hey, pretty girl. Hi, baby. I'm tattooing one of my favorite clients today, and we've been talking about putting a really unique spin on a flower tattoo. This is what I came up with. It's a rose in concrete. It's so dope. So I was thinking color in the leaves, mm -hmm. and then everything else black and gray. Perfect. If you're ready, I'm ready. Okay. My blood is still boiling thinking about the conversation I had with Bay and Kitty. 
those two of all people, I considered them family. And for them to even entertain the possibility that Alex threw a brick through the window is disgusting. I feel betrayed by the people I thought were closest to me. I feel like everything I knew was a lie. Honestly, I can't trust anyone from Black Ink anymore. So I'm putting everybody, including my former friends behind me, and starting off fresh. Bye-bye, Black Ink. Okay, so get up slowly. <laughs> wow, that is so cute. I love it, thank you. you. Hey, Game. Come on, man. Welcome, welcome. Puma, Phoenix. What up, though? Oh, this is like making my heart run. Naive. What up, though? What up, though? Oh, my God. I have not seen all these people together in the same room in years. Welcome to our tank, oh, man. Yeah. Nothing like warm smiles and big ass hugs on my first day at the new job. Look at this place. It's just filled with art, like okay. artistic <laughs> people, creative weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Donna, I got a couple of rules to remind you about. What? As you know, no stealing other people's boyfriends. Oh, You know what I'm talking about? I'm a as good as just because you're doing all this. Puma, we talked about this. I've got a boyfriend, so I'm a no drama llama. Okay, I, like I heard you, sis. <laughs> the only other rule is be on time. Exactly. This is a business. Wait, what's on time? On time. When? On time. Oh, but like, that's what I'm saying. Like, how do we do that? The shop open. <laughs> oh, Donna, 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 Donna. Donna's special. And I don't mean that in a good way. But she has this little quirky thing about her that I like. Welcome back, my special friend. So you got a client today? Yes, I do. Come on, Rainbow Break. Okay. Let's go. Thank you, guys. This is so cute. Y'all make me feel really welcome and welcome. special. I got your apron. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, there. Oh, there you go, pimping. Damn, this place is a breath of fresh air. I already feel these good new vibes replacing all those bad old vibes. Donna, your client's here. Hey, guys. Hi, how are you? Have a seat over here. I'll take your jacket. Go. So, I know you want a knuckle tattoo, but yes. what exactly are you getting? I want pie across my knuckles, P-A-I-X, which is peace in French. What made you want to get it? I deal with depression and borderline personality disorder, so I'm constantly working towards peace, but I haven't reached that yet, and it'd be nice to be able to look down and see what I'm working towards. I like that. We gonna kill it. I put him up. Hey. I do it for my city, for my What I'm realizing right now is coming here to Puma Shop is not only a big <laughs> you to black ink and see, it's about shedding all the toxic energy and surrounding myself with good, genuine people. The more I think about it, me and Alex suing seeds is more than just making him pay financially. It's about teaching him a lesson that he can't keep treating the people closest to him like <laughs> I mean, look at what he did to Puma. And Richard. What's going on? Even the dude Herbo from Nola. <laughs> I can't continue to watch C's get away with this bullshit behavior. Someone needs to hold him accountable for his actions and make sure he owns up to the shit he's done. And if I'm that person, that's fine by me. Let's go look at it in the mirror. Oh, that is so dope. I love how it's all one piece all together. I love it. I love it, too. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Hey, Donna. Teddy, move. Come on. Yo, how you just coming here telling me to move? I was comfortable. Because there's nowhere for me to sit. Why you look so sad? Because <sighs> I'm about to be even broker. Wait, why? Remember I had to go to the accountant the other day? Mm-hmm. Well, it turns out that I owe the IRS, like, thousands of dollars. What? Yeah, and I don't have that kind of money. Oh, you get locked up. Yeah, you're going to jail. Oh. Yeah, you're going to be you're gonna be next to Tati. Cellmates. They're going to watch these you. I hate how everyone's treating this like a joke. I'm really concerned about what Tati's going through because since she got arrested, I haven't heard from her. And what I'm going through is not funny either. If the IRS comes for me, there'll be no getting out of it. 
why don't y'all help me brainstorm what the f I can do to get some money? Baby, be a stripper. Can y'all stop playing around? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, go create a GoFundMe and the chip in. The out of here. Just send my client back. I got some money coming. Sorry, Donna. I paid my taxes. So did Puma and Ted, I think. Hello? But what the f think you so special you don't have to pay taxes? You gotta get used to that six by six. worried about this, but all I can do is put one foot in front of the other and hustle. I got the piece. Oh, now this is fire. Yes, I love it too. What made you want to get this tattoo? Honestly, I've been working, stressed, no time to myself. So I'm just like, let me come get some tattoo therapy. Yes, I've been stressed too, so I totally relate. You ready? Yep. All right, let's get this thing started. With Ali's back messed up and these taxes, I suddenly have to deal with so much at once and things I should have taken care of years ago. I dealt with all types of before, but I never faced something this serious with actual legal consequences. This is really no joke. I've had my fair share of money troubles, so I don't want to go backwards and get stuck in a place that I finally thought I got myself out of. Done. So come check it out. This is fire. Thank you. Thank you. You did so good. Hey, girl. Hi, how are you? Is this Maya? Yes, this is Faye. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Walter. Yes, Faye. Be short for Beyonce. I'm from the Bronx, so I've definitely been around some crazy-ass people with some weird-ass names before, but I've never heard nobody named Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of weird. It sounds like her mama got a list, and then she's trying to say Beyonce, and it just came out Beyonce. Beyonce. Beyonce, what? Beyonce. The doctor was like, okay. Beyonce it is. <laughs> Dude, All right, let me. What are you tattooing? Come on, what girl. is it? We about to do a freehand back piece. All right, Tay Tay, see you Right. So, did we decide on the word? I think I want to do perseverance. Okay. Just because it's a strong word, and I think it has a lot to do, like you know, going back, like on my character, and you know how you go through things. So. Girl, yes, that's a good word. I like that. Life is like so crazy. <laughs> Why you say that? I was trying to get my to marry me. <laughs> so I have to persevere in this fight. Like, yes, I agree. <laughs> um, guys are so iffy when it comes to stuff. I know, because like a year ago, he was gonna help for the project. But, you know, that was also a year ago. I like to say a lot of fancy stuff in the All beginning talk. of a relationship. All talk, <laughs> yep. But anyways, thanks for coming and taking my mind my off pleasure. of some things. Yeah. Do what you gotta do. I'm excited too because um, I wanna freehand this. Mm -hmm. So I don't have a stencil, we just gonna do it and I'm mm -hmm. gonna show you when we finish. All right. You ready, babe? Yeah. All right. He just did a number. Oh, he did a number on me. My argument with Alice the other night really confused me. It made me feel really insecure. Like, am I not wifey material? Does Alex not feel the same way about me that I feel about him? Like, are we not on the same page in our relationship? But on the other hand, it pisses me off because I've been nothing but a supportive girlfriend from the start. I supported him through therapy, helped out with Cameron, and supported him emotionally. So for him to say he's not ready to get married, it kind of feels like a you. It's bad times, just bad times, just bad times, yeah. I don't know where that leaves us. I don't know where we stand right now. I just feel disappointed. I just felt like everything was so amazing with us. And now it sucks because I'm left questioning everything about our relationship. Come check it out. I love it. I'm never gonna wear clothes again. Like, <laughs> I love the shading and the roses look so nice. 
Thank you. You did so good. It's perfect though. You it's did, definitely a yes. statement though. Like it's, yeah, definitely something people are gonna notice. Thank you so much. I love it. Thank you, babe. Thank you. Hey y'all, it's your boy Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch the number two.